Hi guys, so we're on part two here, um, the electrical portion of the winch. This is the motor. Uh, it's still attached to the case. And there's the drive gear. There's the drive gear. Um, but we'll still be able to test the motor function today, hopefully. And uh, we have the four solenoids. Typically, large winches have four solenoids, and solenoids are essentially just an electrical switch. The current goes through it, it activates a large electromagnet or a solenoid, and that solenoid makes a larger connection between these two terminals. So the way to test them is apply a voltage, 12 volts, across these two small terminals, and then measure the resistance between the two large terminals. And the resistance should be relatively lowish. Obviously it should be a complete circuit but let me show you what I mean. Right now, I have not tested these, so I don't know if they're good. But right now, oh, you can't even see that. Right now, my voltmeter is set to ohms, measuring resistance, and that is an open circuit. This is what a, you know, let me show you a closed circuit. It would read something, okay? But this is a closed circuit. So let me show you how I'm going to apply voltage. It really doesn't take a, a lot of draw, but I'm going to use one of these. It's from an older DeWalt 12-volt uh, battery system I have. And um, the typically on these types of batteries, the outside terminals are the positive and negative, and the inside ones are for the battery management. There is a computer inside the charger and the battery in here to monitor how much to charge. So we're going to apply voltage from these two to these two terminals, sorry, these two terminals and check the resistance and hopefully we'll be able to show whether they're good or not. So let me set this up and I'll bring you right back. Okay. All right. So I've got um, two leads, one going to one, uh, sorry, see, I already screwed this up. We're supposed to apply voltage to the smaller terminals. And then let's listen for the solenoid activating. So that's good, but it doesn't mean that it's closing the circuit. So let's do that, and then let's um, check the uh, the resistance. So you can see the ohmmeter there. I'll clean these terminals up, but we're getting one, you know, less than an ohm resistance. So that's to me that's a closed circuit in good condition. So that's good. That means that is a good solenoid. Let's test the next one. Okay. Higher, but maybe it's just this terminal here. Uh, 18 ohms. So something to keep in mind. Uh, I'll clean these terminals up and see if it gets any better, but closed circuit nonetheless. Let's try the next one. The next one is also really good, 0.8. So that's good. So let's, um, that's a good one. This is the last one. I'll leave the other one outside or off to the side, clean up those terminals and we'll check it again. And this one is also 0.8 or under an ohm. So seems like the good ones uh, are under an ohm. Let's check this one again. Yeah, I think 0.4, it's still very, you know, 4 ohms is not a lot. I'm going to clean these terminals up a little bit and double check it, but I think we've got good solenoids. Let's uh, set up the motor and check that next. Okay, so most winches use a series wound motor, and we've got terminals. They'll be labeled differently, but on worn winches, we've got F1, F2, A, 
and then on the back side down here is your ground or your negative that's not labeled by anything but it's got a bolt in this case I just put a uh, a screw in here just to have something to connect to so here's how we're going to do this you connect your A terminal to F1 like so okay uh, I'm still going to use the same tiny little battery to drive this motor. I'm just interested to see if it actually spins and we should have enough current uh, from this battery to run it. So um, negative to the back side. Okay. And then let's listen um, for the motor. Actually, let's, it'll be more fun. It is a video. Oops. To see it. So let's see, can you guys see that? Let's see if it actually spins up. Not too bad. Uh, you can see it does draw a lot uh, of current and uh, this is quite warm. Uh, so let's check the other direction. You, you know, it should, Theoretically, it should spin the other way also, but let's check it out. So the way to do that is to connect these two, and we'll maintain the battery where it is, and then go to positive. Oops. Over here. All right, let's see. So, motor spins up really nicely. Um, I'm still going to take it all apart because, well, like I said, this winch looks like it's been underwater or at least submerged at some point in its life. And, um, it needs a good cleaning. I can always clean up the armature, check the bearings. Uh, I was making a little bit of noise, so, you know, why not? Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to end up using this winch, but it's a nice project, and um, if I can, you know, save it, why not? So, the only thing electrically that I'm missing is a, um, is a controller. I don't have a worn winch controller so I'm gonna scour um, I'm gonna scour the Craigslist and see what there is this is let's see how many wires this is the original cable one two so it's a six pin one two three four five six pin um, connector on the housing can you guys see that six pins so um, I don't know. Hopefully I don't have to rig anything up and I'll, I'll get lucky and score another one. So that's the electrical portion. Everything spins up. Uh, I think I'll cut it off here, but my intent is to, uh, I'll open up the case and, uh, we'll clean up the motor and see if we can do a little bit better. Besides, I do want to, uh, to paint this case fully. And so, uh, there's a lot of, uh, corrosion and schmoo. So we'll end up having to strip all this down anyway. Okay? Thanks.